Good morning. Today is October 5th, 2022. And today I have an interesting game for you. Uh, basically, the pawn, you can tell here, way up there in the 7th uh, file, 7th rank. And there's nothing to it. There's no, there's no guard, there's nothing. There, there, there's no pawn supporting, there's no support whatsoever. There's no rook coming up over there. Uh, in the meantime, black is having a queen there. And again, it's not supported anything or anything like that. Like this point over here that's supported by a rook, but queen just stands there not doing anything. So that's a very interesting game over there. It's not an action pack or a, a game, you know, action oriented game. It's nothing like that at all. In fact, it's quite boring over here. So, so this is one of those uh, strategic games where nothing much happening. Just a little bit here, a little bit there, and suddenly the game is won or lost. So let's get to it. The begin, uh, this is the beginning of the game. Next opening. This one has a Konstantinopolsky. I hope I said that right. That's the variation's name over here. And pretty standard as far as I'm concerned. Uh, basically, this kind of opening, I don't care. Uh, King Indian defense, I don't uh, King, King Indian attack, I don't care what black does as long as it doesn't sabotage my movement. Uh, then the Queen goes here, King Castle, and that, and maybe this one right here. And that completes my development. So, pretty much just do my own things, unless there's a wrench in the plan, and that's it right there. So, rather the position is zero, equal. Yeah. So, it's nothing, no big deal. It's not that I cannot handle it. So, let's move on. And this is significant because usually it's captured by a pawn over here. Uh, the knight is, you know, being used to cut this net. So if a bishop takes, knight can detect the net and take that. But like I said, that's a branch in the plan. No big deal though. So keep going. And this is actually minus one over here, so that's advantage black. Uh, that's because I'm putting the nets over there, so this is no longer that the net is no longer threatening this pawn over there. <coughs> so I'm kicking the bishop out. Again, this is standard maneuver. It's not something uh, to be concerned about. Over here, I move the knight there, but usually I would move the knight here and exchange it with the bishop. The uh, reason I don't do that is because I want to basically complicate things and this one has knight uh, hooked up over there, linked to that knight. So it looks strong but it's not it's really just a bluff really make makes it look complicated without it being so uh, here's a thing over here so that's in position to capture now i can capture over here because there's piece of over there and that's piece of and rock over there and then rock over there like really complicated tactically speaking but we're talking about positional here, positional advantages, very slight advantages, just we're not capturing pieces like black and white are not considering pieces, we're considering squares. In this case, I have queen over here and I have knight over here, it's a check there and king ring attack. So a lot of potential going on, but nothing really happened. Because, well, the queen just move away. Simple. So, and just nothing, nothing like simplified. 
simplify things. There's nothing except well, there's except a pawn over there. But otherwise, it's even. Now that's again, that's not a tactical consideration. Uh, the rook was in danger of capture, so move it into the right, to the right square, and then try to take control of this file over here. So, so anyway, let's move on. This is actually minus two over here, so black has advantages. And yet these pawns here are very strong. So this this is actually a very strong attack by white, but computer cannot handle that. It's too positional. The, the positions are too positional, so uh, it's not a correct evaluation, in my opinion. Next move. That's a defensive maneuver. It's not attacking. It's not doing anything. So let's put let's put things you know over there into controlling all the squares. Really, this is all about the squares. This is not about pieces. This is about squares. If you want to you want to go back and re watch this game, replay the game, but count the squares. 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 Uh, and up. let's see, I'm white, I'm counting the squares over here, right? And I just need to count the advanced squares basically. Yeah, just count all the advanced squares over here. And that's it, right? So that's nine. So so black has more squares control or at least contested than me. This one is actually 11, so two points. And yes, it is two points over there. So uh, calculating control squares uh, on half the board is actually a shortcut. I got it from Yeser Seirawan, uh, Seirawan, yeah, Yeser Seirawan there, Grandmaster. He beat uh, Karpov, one of the few people who beat Karpov. And yeah, he, he wrote books, a series of winning uh, chess series. And I got those books. And one of the advice is to calculate the squares on the half of the board and the other half of the board and that gives a good rule of thumb eventually you really need to count the squares around the king you know so distance to mid basically but for a quick uh, evaluation uh, counting the number of squares on the other side of the board will give you a good rule of thumb basically very useful in blitz which is what this is So attack there, uh, uh, right there, pawn move, pawn move, mm, queen takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, and really, <laughs> really that's very quiet, very quiet game, very, very, very quiet, game. nothing, nothing too drastic about it, but in the space of a few moves, you went from minus two, to minus five and just like that it's just pawn move pawn move pawn move pawn move pawn takes pawn captures and minus five a whole piece wood that's amazing you really need to study positional you know, strategic positional evaluations over here otherwise you'll be in a losing position and you don't even know it so Something to keep in mind. Next move. Notice I'm leaving the pawn there, not gathered or anything. The king does not take the king does not take the bait. Now 
now we got something over here so this is very threatening move now if bishop captures bishop here that'd be a mistake because it has no support and uh, really it needs to be supported that uh, bishop takes bishop here is a mistake would be a mistake so next move and that's the mistake one mistake it's not even a blunder because materially speaking black is ahead two pawns right so really materially speaking when you're ahead in material you want to trade so that's what he's doing he's trading but that's a mistake because remember we're not counting material we're not counting pieces we're counting squares look what happened there you go so suddenly I get control of this the whole the whole file the whole file and what happened if my rook goes here I got this rook over here right there so the rook goes here goes here goes here boom 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 one two three so that is a mistake again we're not counting material we're counting squares and I just got your human with some other squares. Next move. And black is lost. Just like that. Just one mistake. One mistake of whatever. Bishop captures bishop. One mistake. And black is completely lost. If there is a puzzle, it will be this puzzle. It will be this position. What should I do? And of course, I did this one over here. I captured this one. But that's not what I should have done. What I should have done is I should have done this right here. And then, you know, the queen has to move somewhere over there, you know cannot be there can't go there cannot be here so either here either here or here in the meantime I would you know control all these squares over here so if I still want to trade rook uh, with the knight I can still do that but otherwise you know it's not something it's not something that I should do basically uh, once I do that once the queen goes here I can go here for example uh, and threaten this one right here over there or I can threaten this one over here and go there so it'd be extremely de devastating for uh, uh, you know black uh, black black is totally losing at this point Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.